And I'm Allison. And I'm Sonia. And today we're dishing from Mi Cocina in the heart of Chevy Chase, located at 5471 Wisconsin Avenue. Yep, we have all kinds of Mexican or Tex-Mex specialties here on the table with us today. We've got some wonderful ceviche. Look at that guacamole. You can get Mi Cocina nachos in either beef or chicken. You can also get your queso in two different flavors. I love the white queso. It's the only place in the city to get it. And if you're having a celebration, or if you're just hungry, you should try the quinceanera salad. It's made with salmon. And the ladies are enjoying an alcoholic beverage known as the Mambo Taxi. It's a little bit of margarita and a little bit of sangria. They call it the Mambo Taxi because the first drink will send you dancing. The second one will send you home in a cab. Ole! And our guest today is Chris Nome. He is here to tell us about Listen Local First. Starting off with, we're listening, tell us what it is. All right, so Listen Local First is sort of this idea, this initiative that started about two years ago. Um, I've been working with musicians, I'm a practicing lawyer, uh, I've done a lot of copyright law, and uh, sort of just figuring out the music industry has sort of gone downhill. For if you're a, if you're a middle class musician, as you say, an in independent musician, how are you going to survive doing the art that you love? And, um, and not having the man take all your money. Right, right, not having the man, you sort of ha being able to, you know, the tools, the internet has allowed us to have tools to do everything ourselves. So re really getting, getting local musicians um, encouraged around sort of promoting themselves. And so, so I was sitting down at a coffee shop, it was a local coffee shop with sort of local food, uh, they roasted their own beans, and we heard Cindy Lauper on the radio. And we said, why is this coffee shop not playing local music. DC has so many different genres of music and it's all being produced, made here in its backyard. History, like huge history in, in, in yeah. all those genres as well. You know, people think of DC as this, you know, post-punk, the 80s, 90s was their big sort of uh, movement and before that it was like jazz and... Go-go. You know, yeah, go-go. Yeah, uh, but there's everything. You can find everything here and so we, uh, my co-founder and I, uh, decided that we were going to start a way to stream music in local businesses, partner up with local businesses, create a stream, feature eight new musicians e each month. So that was the initial idea, and then it's become sort of a bigger. We a help. great idea gets huge, right? Yeah. And we, we, so we, yeah. So have you been just overwhelmed with local artists that want yeah. to get there? I mean, I, I, there are so many local artists and there's so many music venues, but getting in the stores where people are, not where they have to buy a ticket to come and hear you, is probably their ultimate goal. So how do you decide who belongs on your app or on your stream? Right. Well, well first of all, let me, let me take a step back in that uh, we did the stream for over a year, mm -hmm. and then uh, we worked on producing an app that would allow us to do it without using a third-party streaming service. So we created the, I worked with some people, created the app, developed the app, did a launch in November, and then since then we've had some kinks working out with the app, but sort of we're in the next phase. So right now there is no actual stream going each month, but we, we've been doing festivals, we've been doing events, uh, we've been partnering, we do a, a monthly Kenny Center show where we feature different local artists. So yes, lots of artists do come to us, and um, it's, a, you know, it's about, I, I work with a lot of people in the industry here, writers, editors, uh, people that work at music labels, and sort of we, we talk, we chat, we say production quality, are these people doing it for... Are they up to your standard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you so mix it, it up? Quality. Is it all 100% local, or will you play something that's a little more mainstream and throw it in with the local, local. or is it all 100%? All, all local artists. I mean, you, you don't really need to go for the mainstream music. There's, there's just as good music happening here, I, I think. Yeah. So I mean, what would you a, say is a local... Genre? Do we have a, a type of music that's yeah. done here locally? I mean, more we than do. Else? Obviously, go go is is it is DC music. Well, Ooh. I mean, it's, it's founded here. Okay. Uh, there's another there's another genre that's um, it's called Moombathon. Okay. And I can't really tell you. You can't how. hum us a couple you of bars. You have to try to tell me that you <laughs> no, say no, no, something no, like it's, it's, uh, it, No, no, it's a uh, it's so it's, it's a type of electronic music. Okay. okay. Um, it has a certain sound, certain beat. It's it's a uh, oh, it's a mixing of two other types of music. And it was uh, started with by the guys at uh, 
So we'll have to go to Listen Local first and put in Moombathon. Well, we actually, we do some. We, we've, we've promoted some, some Moombathon uh, on the site. Uh, the Moombathon is big in, like, U Street Music Hall mm -hmm. down there. That's where you find a lot, of, uh, a lot of DJs that play that. And then now it's moved to LA. So it's actually moved beyond the city now. So it's, it's, it's And what's the, here. what do you consider local? Just Washington, D.C., you out to uh, Charlottesville? DM, DMV, or DMV, okay. you know? We, and like, we like to say within the suburbs of okay. Now, so, like, you know, one of our biggest stars that we had is Dave Grohl. Now, would you guys ever play? any of Foo Fighters or Dave Grohl? I think on. that's, you know... I, I yeah, so once they get really big, like, is, are big they, is it done? okay? No, no, no. He actually uh, recently recorded with an up-and-coming local band. He played drums on their album. So oh, nice. It's, so, yeah, so, so I mean, he's, he's still ballad. in the mix and, and <laughs> you know... Hasn't sold out yet. <laughs> if, uh, no, Dave, Dave, Dave Grohl is great. There's lots of other artists that were born here, lots of big indie acts right now, and so... Um, when they put out, is, is really right, big. Right, Thievery, of course, mm -hmm. and they're still here. Mm -hmm. um, but we would we would promote them as well. We, we've actually, uh, on a couple of bigger events, we've tried to reach out to some of these artists to headline. And hopefully sometime soon we'll get a full lineup with like a big headliner, like someone like the Foo Fighters maybe, going down to like the little sort of indie jazz player all on some giant... DC music so is your app a little bit like Pandora, where every now and then there's an ad or something? Or how are well, we how are we paying for this local music to be distributed and promoted? Again, so when when we were doing right now, the stream doesn't exist. It's just being it's just being worked on. We're figuring out with a new app. Right. Uh, there was each, each business uh, paid a, a royalty payment to one part of it went to the actually most of it went to the musicians okay. uh, for the streaming of the music. I'm sort of like an in between. This is a labor of love for me. Yeah. Um, uh, but but we've gotten we've gotten sponsorships and we've gotten promotions. So once you relaunch, how will we be hearing this? Will we be going to the app? Will we be hearing it in, in stores and restaurants? Can we like you on Facebook? You can like the best way actually because the website right now is well our website is listenlocalforest.com and we're un we're under construction right now. But our Facebook page we're always posting whenever a new artist album comes out. Mm -hmm. We'll post it there. We'll post uh, a weekly show column. All the local shows happening each week partner with Brighty Young Things and do their uh, shows to get pumped for. It comes out once a, once a week. So as you're growing this, you're probably looking for people also to, to not only highlight music through you guys, but also help you get your streaming back up. So are you looking, tell us about those people that you're looking, maybe looking for. Yeah, well, we Or you're like, my team is set. So no, 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 no. I, uh, The band is together. Are you looking for a J-O-B? We're, we're always looking yeah. for, we're always looking for, always looking for partners. Uh, I've been spending some time with the tech community. I went down to South by Southwest uh, for uh, the interactive part this year. Normally I go for music. This year I only went for interactive to sort of meet people on people that were doing other music apps and um, just uh, staying in touch with the with the people that are that are designers and uh, developers is, is important at this point to figure out what the next step is. But again, that's you know that's not the only thing we do. We've been we threw a 8,000 person bluegrass festival in uh, in April. Oh, we're doing. Uh, yeah, we heard that was a lot was of on, fun. Uh, it was on the King Kingman Island in Anacostia. Oh, and wow! And then in, on uh, June twenty second, we've got Luminate Anacostia coming up, which is uh, in the giant warehouse um, over off of I think I don't want to say the address because I don't remember. It's right on the main strip when you when you come on in, and it's uh, a whole day festival of art, music, dance, lighting. And it's called Illuminate Anacostia. Luminate L U M E N eight. Oh, okay. Well, whether you know whether it's businesses that are looking for music to stream, or whether it's individuals that want to know more about the local music scene, it's fantastic to have lo listen local first, so that everyone can find out more about local artists. Thank you for having your labor of love available for everyone else to know more about things going on in the city. We love it, and we hope you love it too. Um, thank you for being with us, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Um, and as always, thank you for watching. You can follow us here, of course. You can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. And we hope you'll join in on the conversation. Tell us what you liked about this episode and tell us who you think we should be dishing with next. We'll see you next time.